passive income is not a scam and I'm going to show you in this video how it can change your life forever. Did you know that 70% of people think that they can make money while they sleep? Sounds crazy, right? But what is the real story behind passive income? Passive income is a buzzword that's going around a lot lately. Everyone's talking about it and honestly, who wouldn't be? Making money effortlessly? Of course we would all be interested. Wait, what? Free money? No effort? Uh, I'm listening. So today we're going to peel back those layers and figure out is passive income the golden ticket or is it a scam? Stick around because you're not going to want to miss this one. Let's get real here. The biggest misconception about passive income is that you can just sit there, do nothing, make money from absolutely nothing. Just sit back and relax and make money. That is the biggest misconception. That is not how passive income works. Passive income works in a different way. Passive income requires an initial lot of effort, a huge overload of effort, whether that is hard work or graft or a big, huge amount of investment up front initially. This is what passive income requires. You cannot just sit back and make money. You cannot just sit back and make money. You have to put that initial effort in at the start. Whether it is real estate investments or building a business, it requires a lot of upfront effort. You cannot just expect to hit the jackpot overnight. The reality is that passive income can lead to financial freedom and that life that you've always dreamed of, but it definitely does not come without its challenges. Now let's explore some common forms of passive income that you can realistically try out yourself. The first form of passive income I want to talk about in this video is real estate, buying property. You buy a house with a mortgage. You put 25% deposit down on that house. Let's say the house is 100,000 pounds, just for an easy example. You've put 25,000 pounds into the house. The bank has put 75,000 pounds into the house. You put a tenant into that property. You are responsible for repaying that mortgage on the property. However, the tenant that you put in the property pays you a rent and that rent covers the mortgage that you took out on the property plus a bit extra. So you've put 25% down deposit on the house and you are making money. The tenant is paying off the mortgage and you are receiving a little bit extra money on top as profit and that is passive income. You do start with a huge upfront cost in that deposit and refurbishing the house and getting it ready for a tenant to make it livable and a proper home for someone to live in. But once you have done that, you've put that effort forward, the tenant will pay the rent and you will have passive income. Yes, there will be some times that you get a phone call where something needs fixing, but generally the majority of the time you just sit back and month on month the rent comes through. That is one form of passive income. Then there is dividend stocks. This is probably the most laid back way of creating passive income. However, it's not the most rewarding, but what do you want? You've got to put a lot of effort in to get a lot of reward, or you have almost no effort and get almost no reward. When it comes to dividend stocks, it is more of very little effort, not much reward, but it is still passive income nonetheless. You can buy stocks in companies that pay out high dividends. For example, there are loads of companies out there like Coca-Cola. The money and profits they get, they don't know what to put that into. They cannot improve Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the best that it ever will be. So what do they do with that profit? They, they distribute that profits to their shareholders. So if you buy stocks in Coca-Cola and companies like that, that pay out high dividends, you will be paid a dividend on a regular basis. All you have to do in this situation is buy the stock and then nothing. You don't have to do anything else. You will just automatically receive a dividend on a regular basis with these types of stocks. If you are interested in buying Coca-Cola and high yield dividend stocks, then click the link below for the Trading212 app. If you sign up using the link below, you will get a free share worth up to 100 pounds when you sign up today using the link below. But dividend stocks are the purest form of passive income. When it comes to real estate, there's always that chance you're going to get that phone call. Although you do get high reward on passive income with real estate, but you can always get that phone call at some point saying, I need help, you need to fix this issue. 
But with dividend stocks, there is no risk of that phone call. You can just sit back, like put your money to work and get paid a dividend on a regular basis without any worry that any future work is going to present itself to you in the near future. It's the purest form of passive income. If you like this type of content, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see all the future videos that are coming up on financial independence, Bitcoin, retiring early, financial strategies and living a rich and fulfilling life, then hit that subscribe button so you can see all the future videos on this channel. Another option for passive income is starting your own business. For example, you could create a YouTube channel, you could start a blog, you could write a book, you can do something that has a lot of upfront effort where you put all that hard work and you write the book, you create the videos, you write the blog, but once it is published after that, the work is done. You don't need to do any more work on that particular project. It's out there in the universe and people are watching it, reading it and buying it and you are making money passively. Yes, it does require a lot of upfront effort and maybe you do need to promote that product. But once it builds up steam, you can just sit back, relax and that product itself will go on forever. A crazy hyped up example is JK Rowling writing those Harry Potter books. She wrote the Harry Potter books and once they were written, they were published and people bought them and movies were made out of them. This is what I mean about passive income. She wrote them once she finished writing them, that was done and she has made money ever since. Don't get me wrong, I know there's a lot of promotion around it as well and I'm really looking over all the hard work that JK Rowling did put in but the, but the principle is the same. You put a lot of effort in at the start and allow that product, that book, that video to continuously be published out to people and receive that money constantly for the rest of your life. That is another form of passive income. Passive income is not a get rich quick scheme. Far from it. It still requires a lot of upfront effort. You need to ask yourself before you start that journey, are you prepared to put that upfront effort in to receive that passive income down the line? If you're the type of person that is not willing to do that, then fair enough, that's okay. That's not the path you are choosing. But if you have the open mind and understand this is not an easy thing to do, to create passive income, it sounds easy. The title, passive income, sounds lovely. It sounds easy, but it's far from it. It requires a lot of upfront effort. If you want to create that passive income, you have to create that strategy. You have to create a plan. You have to put a plan forward. You have to sit down and brainstorm and think, how am I going to create this passive income? Have a roadmap of how you will get there to that passive income. You have to have a high commitment to those goals and doing those one step at a time. It's about finding the opportunity and putting in the time and preparing it properly. Think of it as planting a tree. You don't just see a tree grow and it just grows and gives you fruit. You have to go and plant the tree. At first, you have to water it. You have to nurture it. Maybe you have it in a little plant pot and you gradually increase the size of that plant pot and before you put it into the ground. Initially, it requires a lot of care and attention for you to allow that tree to grow. But eventually, eventually that tree will get to a point where it will be self-sustaining. Eventually that tree will bear fruit. You must have patience. You must put in that upfront work. If you did not water the tree, the tree would die. If you just left it alone from the beginning, it would die and it would never bear fruit. This is a perfect example. You have to water and nurture that tree so it will bear fruit in the future. Is passive income real? Yes. Is it as simple as it sounds? No, it does require a lot of hard work. It is not without its hurdles. It takes effort, strategy, planning, and a lot of patience. So if you're thinking of diving into the world of passive income, remember it is a marathon, not a sprint. Pace yourself, stay patient, and stick to your goals. Are there any other forms of passive income that I've not mentioned in this video? Leave a comment in the description below and let me know your examples of passive income and how that was created. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You've stayed until the end. You love this type of content. Clearly you love this type of content. Well, YouTube thinks you're going to love this video next. So take a look.